Ennis is a, an international school that is set up here in the Middle East, in Israel, and its uh, purpose is to bring students from all over the world with a focus on students from the Middle East, from Israel, from Arab countries, and to uh, set an environment for them that they can flourish, they can uh, uh, learn about themselves, they can do the International Baccalaureate Diploma. We are living in a very complicated world, and particularly in the region of the Middle East. Here we have a new school, we have the leaders of the future, who are going to get the best academic excellence and training, uh, studying together, developing relationships for the future, bringing not only the region together, but the world together. Um, and what a positive statement to be coming out of such a complicated uh, area at the moment. Amos for me means more than, than just a school. It means a whole environment where you can get in touch with other people from all over the world and live with them, study with them, and you learn a lot with them. Here, you get the chance to, to be whoever you want and uh, to expect people not to judge you from that. And that brings out the best of you. It's a school for change. It's a school where you can um, make your first step for building uh, your future and uh, here you have total uh, support from uh, students, from your peers and from the teachers. Everything comes out of our mission statement which is um, to make education a force for peace and sustainability in the Middle East. students from over 30 countries from all over the world five continents and they're here basically creating a magic um, we have 20% Israeli 20% uh, uh, Palestinians and Arab students uh, who would normally not have a chance to come and learn about Israelis the Israelis would not have a chance to learn about their their neighbors and here they're coming to a, a, a wonderful environment uh, a beautiful school and they're learning about each other, they're learning to respect each other, and they're learning uh, how to hopefully uh, bring peace one day. The students who have come here, who have made the applications, uh, they are a very special group of, of young people. Uh, they, they absolutely were attracted to the mission of the school, to be in Israel, uh, to work towards peace and sustainability issues as students, and um, I'm confident these are young people who are going to be world leaders and, and make a difference in our future. I was able to peek uh, through the door at uh, all five classes and I was very, very impressed with the, the seriousness and the, the, the kids and the, the fact that uh, everything is up and going. At this stage, if you have children from countries that are technically in conflict with each other and these students develop personal relationships, they will begin to understand the other um, and rehumanize the other uh, and develop positive relationships. They can then take those messages back home, which is a positive bottom-up reinforcement. As we move forward, if these are truly the, the, the leaders of tomorrow, then hopefully the students today will be in leadership positions that they will actually be able to work together to reach uh, a peace or uh, agreement on all sorts of issues, whether in business or in politics. Uh, and, and to me, that is what this is really about. Nobody else is bringing Palestinians and the Israelis together in the context of wider issues of peace, sustainability and entrepreneurship together with the majority of other students who've got nothing to do with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So in working on global issues or global 
issues, as the term goes, global and local at the same time, together. Now, these students really feel that they're part of the solution and not part of the problem. And you can really sense the uh, pride that they have in thinking we're going to do things differently. I think a lot of the reason for um, disliking the other side is because you don't understand them and you don't understand their values and know them. So living together, making friends from around the world really helps us understand other people. I know a lot of Israelis, but not so many Palestinians. So getting to talk with them firsthand, I really realized like how much they want peace as we do. And I, it really gives me faith for the future. We are here Palestinians as students. Israeli students, also students from all over the world, that God help us to improve the relationship between Palestinians and Israelis. I make a lot of Israeli friends, so I guess that peace can be done between us and them, and not just about Palestinians and Israeli. Also, there's a lot of conflicts uh, all, all over the world, so here we can make peace. I cannot believe more firmly in, uh, in a united world, in a world where everyone respects each other, tolerates each other, and tries at least to understand each other. And I think the, very, the lowest level we can start at that is education. Diversity in action. Ilya from Macedonia. Emily from the USA. Amir from Kazakhstan. Jamal from Turkey. Carlos from Ecuador. Nielus from Israel. Sultan from Palestine. Radar from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Ing from Cambodia. Sofia from Russia. Veronica from Poland. Peter from Tanzania. Uh, we have to offer academic rigor and excellence to these students because we want them to go on to the best universities of the world. They have to have the best education. If we're not excellent, we're not fulfilling our task. Uh, we're in a very unique situation where we have access to two very, uh, very uh, well-established um, uh, institutes, the Kfar Yawok, that's one of the best schools in Israel, and Tel Aviv University that uh, make the whole educational experience here at Emis really unmatched. I think the university provides a very fertile ground for the ME students, first of all, to interact with the uh, most up-to-date uh, research. We can also offer all our, I would say, libraries, uh, facilities, uh, educators, researchers, so the, the students uh, can benefit from the close vicinity to Tel Aviv University. We have visitors from all over the world that are visiting Israel, from China, Singapore, and the United States trying to understand this uh, secret sauce that uh, brings up such uh, phenomenal creativity and intellectual uh, advancements. And I think that for the students being, uh, for them to attend an international school in Israel is going to be a very unique experience, both in terms of the cultural uh, mix and definitely from an academic standpoint. We really try and push them, and they, they go with it. They push themselves. There is the peer pressure aspect, of course. There are, a lot of them are overachievers. <laughs> and so they do, they push each other. After every test, there's always like, well, who got what, and how do we become better? MS means like an open door. Honestly, in my last country and in my last school, I had, I wouldn't say no opportunities, but considerably less opportunities than what I have now for my future, for my shaping, for me as a person, for my knowledge and for everything. After this two years program, uh, my goal is like my, uh, I want to study abroad. This is a scholarship that I got from MS, so I want to get another scholarship to study in university, uh, so maybe M MS will help me to study abroad. You learn most in the time after school, in the time where you're seeing at a more personal and a closer level, a friendly level with the people in your community. Not only my fellow classmates, but my friends. If I could tell you something I do know, it would be that I won't forget this place. This school is not just a place of learning, but a place of teaching. I want to be together. 
This is about youth. This is about bringing people together. This is about academic excellence. This is about leadership. This is about uh, developing relationships. Uh, it's about peace. It, it is so positive. I think in a world where we're facing challenges on all of these areas, this is a wonderful way for people to give both time and money uh, to move forward. Whether it is uh, uh, helping with funding and the development and growing of the school, whether it is partnerships with schools overseas, with universities, with business development, with environmental experts, uh, these, are, are these students are the, the leaders of the future. And the more we can give them now, the better our futures will be in their hands. I think that conflict always starts and ends with people. So if people get to know each other, interact with each other, learn it with each other, get crazy and passionate about what they like with each other, how can we not achieve this?